Here's a videotaped dry run of my sweet survey. Open it up, exercise survey. This section is about activity in your everyday life over the past seven days. It has the intro from the survey itself. I'll go down, part one, job related physical activity. Each of the like five parts has its own page. And then the final sixth page is the barrier survey. So we'll scroll down. Question one, do you currently have a job or do any unpaid work outside of your home? Pretty much everyone's going to hit no, so they'll read no. If so, please check box and skip to the next page, part two, transportation. So they just skip down to the next page. Next. Part two, transportation, physical activity. So you go through these questions about how you travel from place to place, including places like work, stores, movies, and so on, during the last seven days. So I bolded the same things that were in the IPAC survey. So one through however many, if they click on no traveling in a motor vehicle, which is unlikely, um, if so, please check box and skip to question 10. So I think that it's pretty simple to just go, all right, I'm on question 8, just bypass question 9 to question 10. So, I mean, it's, it's not as seamless as auto skipping them, but I think if we try to do that, it might just be deep BMW, where we're trying to do something simple, but we make it so complicated that it might break down. Don't tell my brother-in-law I said that. So, question 10, they go through. They're going to select, during the last seven days, how many did you bicycle? If it's three, maybe they bike to work like three out of five days to school. No bicycling. If so, please check box and skip to question 12. Question 12. And so the survey proceeds in that manner. If it asks them to bypass the part three when they're on part two, they just hit next at the bottom of the page. Since each page is its own part, it's pretty straightforward to just skip to the next part if the question asks for that. And then the only time they have to bypass a question, when it says skip to question 16, they're just coming from 14. So it's really just skip the next question. Um, so I think it's pretty simple. Looks nicely formatted. Um, I have all the time intervals on there instead of it being open-ended. And then here is the recreation part. It's getting boring. The final part about sitting. And then they go to the barriers to being active quiz. The last part says that this is just a short little click section. So you can see that they have each of the individual like 21 prompts. How likely are you to say, my day is so busy right now, very likely, somewhat likely, somewhat unlikely, very unlikely. Um, and then again, it mentions up here in the past seven days. I might bring that down again so that that's more obvious for the final version before we publish it, uh, before going with this one. So you scroll down, you can see how the categories are still there. I might split this up into two separate questions, looking at it now because you lose the category. So I might split it up so that it's like five at a time. Um, I wouldn't want that to make our data collection more difficult, though. Um, then you can submit responses. So pretty simple. And then everyone can contact me right there.